Thank you so much, Elder Nielsen, for your beautiful message. We needed that. My dear brothers and sisters, President Russell M. Nelson has taught us recently, and I quote, to do anything well requires effort. Becoming a true disciple of Jesus Christ is no exception. Increasing your faith and trust in him takes effort, close quote. Among the recommendations that he gave us to increase our faith in Jesus Christ is that we become engaged learners, that we immerse ourselves in the scriptures to understand better Christ's mission and ministry. We learn in the Book of Mormon that the scriptures were an important part of Lehi's family, so much so that Nephi and his brothers returned to Jerusalem to obtain the plates of brass. The scriptures reveal God's will for us, much like the Liahona did for Nephi and his father. After he broke his bow, Nephi needed to know where he should go to obtain food. His father, Lehi, looked at the Liahona and saw, that, saw the things that were written. Nephi saw that the spindles functioned according to the faith, diligent, and attention given to them. He also saw writing, which was easy to read, and which gave them understanding regarding the paths of the Lord. He became aware that the Lord brings about great things through small means. He was obedient regarding the directions given by the Liahona. He went up the mountain and obtained food for his family who had suffered so much from the lack thereof. It seems to me that Nephi was a student dedicated to the scriptures. We read that Nephi delighted in the scriptures, pondered them in his heart, and wrote them for the learning and profit of his children. President Russell M. Nelson said, and I quote, if we press forward feasting upon the word of Christ and endure to the end, we shall have eternal life. To feast means more than to taste. To feast means to savor. We savor the scriptures by studying them in a spirit of delightful discovery and faithful obedience. When we feast upon the words of Christ, they are embedded in the fleshy tables of the heart. They become an integral part of our nature." Close quote. What are some of the things that we will do if our souls delighted in the scriptures? Our desire to be part of the gathering of Israel on both sides of the veil will increase. It will be normal and natural for us to invite our family and friends to listen to the missionaries. We will be worthy, and we will have a current temple recommend in order to go to the temple as often as possible. We will work to find, prepare, and submit the names of our ancestors to the temple. We will be faithful in keeping the Sabbath day attending church every Sunday to renew our covenants with the Lord as we participate worthily in taking the sacrament. We will resolve to remain on the covenant path, living by every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. What does it mean for you to delight in the things of the Lord? Delighting in the scriptures is more than hungering and thirsting for knowledge. Nephi experienced great joy during his life. However, he also faced difficulties and sadness. Nevertheless, he said, I know in whom I have trusted. As we study the scriptures, we will better understand God's plan of salvation and exaltation. And we will trust in the promises that he has made to us in the scriptures as well as in the promises and blessings of modern prophets. 
One afternoon, my wife and I were invited to a home of a friend. Their seven-year-old son, David, had never heard the Bible story of David and Goliath, and he wanted to hear it. As I began to tell the story, he was touched by the way David, with his faith and in the name of the God of Israel, wounded and killed the Philistine with a sling and a stone, having no sword in his hand. Looking at me with his enormous dark eyes, he asked me firmly, Who is God? I explained to him that God is our Heavenly Father and that we learn about Him in the Scriptures. Then he asked me, What are the Scriptures? I told him that the Scriptures are the Word of God and that, and that in them he will find beautiful stories that will help him to better know God. I asked his mother to use the Bible that she had in her home and that she not let David go to sleep without reading the whole story to him. He was delighted as he listened to it. The scriptures and our knowledge of God are gifts, gifts that we too often take for granted. Let us cherish these blessings. While serving a mission, as a young man, I observed that by teaching with the scriptures, the life of many people were transformed. I became aware of the power in them and how they can change our lives. Each person to whom we taught the restored gospel was a unique individual with different needs. The Holy Scriptures, yes, the prophecies written by the Holy Prophets, brought them to a faith in the Lord and to repentance and changed their hearts. The Scriptures fill them with joy as they receive inspiration, direction, consolation, strength, and answers to their needs. Many of them decided to make changes in their lives and began to keep God's commandments. Nephi encourages us to delight in the words of Christ because the words of Christ will tell us all the things we need to do. I invite you to have a permanent plan to study the scriptures. Come follow me is a great resource that we have for teaching and learning the gospel, deepening our conversion to Jesus Christ and helping us to become like Him. When we study the gospel, we are not simply seeking new information. Rather, we are seeking to become a new creature. The Holy Ghost guides us toward truth and testify to us of the truth. He illuminates our mind and renews our understanding and touches our hearts through God's revelation, the source of all truth. The Holy Ghost purifies our heart. He inspires in us the desire to live according to the truth and whispers to us ways to do so. The Holy Ghost shall teach you all things. Speaking of the words he revealed to Joseph Smith, to the prophet Joseph Smith, our Savior said, These words are not of man nor of man, but of me, for it is my voice which speaketh them unto you for they are given by my Spirit unto you. Wherefore you can testify that you have heard my voice and know my words. We should seek the companionship of the Holy Ghost. This goal should govern our decisions and guide our thoughts and actions. We must seek everything that invites the influence of the Spirit and reject anything that deviates from this influence. I testify that Jesus Christ is the beloved Son of our Heavenly Father. I love my Savior. I am grateful for His scriptures and for His living prophets. President Nelson is His prophet. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <clears throat>